It's writing time once again. It's one of our favorite times of the day. I love writing, and I always love when we were at school watching you guys write because you guys had such great ideas and had so much fun writing. And so today I want to continue on thinking about our stories that we've started. Remember, we're doing our slice of the pie stories. And I talked to you some about speech bubbles, how we can put a speech bubble above someone's head. And here this boy says, I want some ice cream. And the other one's like, me too. And then yesterday, I talked to you about a thought bubble and how we can put a thought by someone's head. And it's kind of like a little cloud above their head that lets us know what they're thinking. Like she says, I'm excited for my birthday. And so sometimes the thought bubbles show us something that the words in the story didn't say, but it can give us a better idea about what's having, happening in the story. Now, today I want you to think about being a smarty speller. A smarty speller. Remember when you're a smarty speller, look at this first one. It says, oh, there's a contraction we've learned. Don't ask your teacher. Well, your mom and dad are there being your teachers right now. So remember when you're trying to spell, don't ask mom and dad and say, how do I spell this? Instead, we're going to stretch the word like a snake. Remember, stretch it out. Listen for every sound. And then, Write the sounds you hear. So make sure you write down every sound that you hear in that word. Now, this says, use a word wall word. I know you're not at school with our word wall. That makes me sad. But I have sent your parents the sight words that we've practiced all. And if they want to print that out and give it to you, you can have those near you that you can look there and be able to spell the words that we've learned. And then the last part says, use words you know. So there's things that we know, like if you know how to spell the word look, well, then you can think about that word and you can just change the beginning sound and it would turn into cook. So you can learn, use things that we've learned, ways to spell, so that you can be a really good speller in your writing. So remember that it's so important to go back and look at what we've already done before we start writing so that we'll know what we need to do on the next page. So, so far in my story, I've told you it was the 4th of July. It was a rainy day. My family wanted to make a slip and slide. Oh, there's all that rain falling down. We thought it was too rainy and everyone was disappointed. We decided to make our slip and slide anyway. We knew we would get wet, so it didn't matter if it was raining. Everyone was so excited. We went to the store and we bought some plastic. We spread it down the hill in our yard. We brought over the hose. This was gonna be so much fun. I was so excited and there's my thought bubble that I'm like, oh, I hope no one hits the trees. So today, now I'm gonna write about what we actually did when we finally got to get on the slip and slide. So let me get my paper ready and we'll write about that today. So I'm ready to start writing about what we actually did. So let me tell you about when we finally got to get on the slip and slide. I'm gonna say, um, we got lots of soap. We got our pool rings. We <clears throat> went down the slip and slide. That's a lot to write. Slip and slide. We were covered in soap bubbles because that soap made bubbles all over us. And were soaking wet. So we got covered all in soap bubbles and we were soaking wet. It was so much fun. 
And I put some exclamation points on my sentences because it was a lot of fun and we were so soaking wet. So now I'm gonna work on my picture for this page. And so here you see my picture. I've got my hill in my backyard. I've got the trees there. Remember it was a rainy day, so I've still got the clouds and the rain's falling. And here we are going down the slip and slide. It was so much fun. So friends, now it's your time to get out your writing and work on your next page and tell us the next thing that happened in your story. Remember to be a smarty speller. Stretch out your words. Write down the sounds you hear. Use the things that we've learned about spelling words this year. Be a really super smarty speller. And always leave spaces between each word so we can tell where one word stops and the next word starts. Does your writing have to be perfect? No, but do the best you can. I can't wait to see what you write next in your story.